Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Um, I want to cover a subject or a, a part of training that women usually avoid or especially women that are starting out, girls in fact that are starting out training and weightlifting. Should I hit my chest? Took me about three years to realise that yes, you do need to hit your chest. Um, main factor being that you need an all-round good physique. It's like training your legs, but not training your hamstrings, for example. It's not going to give you an all-round good physique. I'm going to talk you through my workout, and then I'm going to give you a physique update and the other reasons as to why you should be training your chest and the things you should be doing. Here I'm starting off with a bench chest, bench press, sorry guys. Um, I did a bench press challenge at the gym this morning, which was a third of your body weight and however many reps you can do. Now, my friend done it at 62 reps, and I obviously had to beat her, so I did 67 reps, but I'm sure she's going to go back and smash it. So this was my first exercise. I worked my way up to 55 kilograms for eight reps. I was struggling after the bench press challenge because I was literally, my chest was burning. So this was bench press. I went my way up to eight reps and then went my way back down for 15 reps with 40 kilograms. So... When I done the bench press challenge, obviously I knew that I was going to be fatigued, so I approached my session a little bit differently. I kind of I wanted to do a, a, um, a session where you feel the muscle squeeze rather than you see how much weight you can press. Uh, so you're working through the movement rather than travelling towards a weight that's super heavy. So I'm working away here. I'm going down to as low as I can to keep good form, really nice and slow, just feeling my way through the movement, not necessarily blowing out my ass trying to get a really heavy weight. And that was bench press. My second movement that I moved on to was uh, cable flies. This, if you want a good, that, you see where your shoulder, you see where my shoulder um, cap is and you see the connection from your shoulder to your chest right there. You need to train your chest for that. Simple as. Incline pressed, dumbbell flies, cable flies are all going to give you that really nice connection. And that line going down your chest through the middle is, I love that look. I mean, obviously not popping, not steroid look. But um, really nice, tight chest look. You will never, ever come across a girl who physiques, a girl who competes, or in, in any way, who doesn't train her chest. So do not leave it to the last minute. Do not make the same mistake as I made and avoid training your chest. Third movement I moved on to was incline dumbbell press. I tried, I went up to 22.5s for my first set on these, but my camera fell over and I totally missed the set. I got eight reps out of that, uh, which was a struggle. I then went down to 20 kilograms, which was this, this set here, and I got another 10 reps out of it. Eight to 10 reps, sorry. I can't remember where it was, at eight or 10. I'm just going down, as you can see, my elbows are shaking. This is a struggle. Um, I really struggled in incline dumbbell press today, probably because I'd done bench, I'd done flies, and I'd done the challenge. So it was really my third or fourth exercise. So I worked my way down on the dumbbells, um, onto 17.5s down to 15 kilograms i'm just going and grabbing the weight right now i didn't edit this out because i wanted to catch up on my uh, commentary because i knew i'd be running behind um so i went and i pyramided down all the way down to 15 kilograms in the end Let's see how many uh, reps i did here so embracing my core bringing it all the way down and squeezing up i think a lot of women are scared of getting that pop pop in chest look but it's near nigh impossible um women don't have the testosterone levels women don't have the the kind of levels that males have to build that muscle um so all we're gonna get is a good all-rounded tight physique and i think that's what most women want is toned and tight isn't it it's that tight look so that was my incline dumbbell press I then moved on to flies. Uh, started off with 7.5s, really light on these because I wanted to feel the movement. I wanted to get it right. If you don't get flies right, I feel it hurts my shoulder. It really buggers my shoulder up. I get a really aching, dull pain in, in the rear of my trap. So I start light and I work my way heavy. As you can see, I'm turning out my wrists, turning out my arms and my wrists, and then travelling in and squeezing the lower of the dumbbells together. Okay, so expanding, bringing it in, squeeze the lower of the dumbbell together. So I did this set, it's a set of 12 to 14. I really like the feel of these, you can feel it in your upper chest, which is great. And then I worked my way down in dumbbells, um, uh, up in dumbbells, sorry, each set. And that was incline flies. 
Now I needed to do, I did always do my triceps with my chest workout and I only did two movements with this um, because I just felt it so much that I felt like it was enough. And after the challenge, I was just absolutely drained and it was an hour and I had things to do. So I'm doing the V bar, I call it a V bar push down because it's a V metal bar. Uh, just squeezing at the bottom, I always lock out your elbows. Again, work your triceps to get that definition on your arm. With boys, I don't understand. They work their biceps till the cows come home, but they don't work their triceps. To get big arms, you need to work your triceps. Your triceps are bigger than your biceps. In that way, you're going to get bigger arms working your triceps. Okay, work them both the same and really focus on all the different movements for your triceps. Women, good triceps look good. That's all I'm saying. Good triceps look really good. So all I'm doing here is 12 to 15 reps. I warmed up. I did 10 reps on a lightweight, 10 reps on a medium weight, and 10 reps on a heavy, comfortable working weight. And as you can see, it's working enough there, and I'm feeling it. It's great because I've already worked my triceps from chest. So that was enough for me for two exercises. Next set, I work it a little bit harder. I'm pushing down and holding it at the bottom. So I push down, squeeze, back up. Down, squeeze, back up. I'm not rushing through the movement. Nearer to the end of my working set, I will speed up because I want to get that pump going. If I'm working on going super heavy, then I'll go super slow and really focus on getting the weight down. But if I want to get a pump, I'll push it out a lot quicker. Sipping on a monster, guys. And the last one I did was a bent over tricep extension. This really works the upper head because you can see just before it reaches your lats. Bent over, 10 of them, and 10 upright standing extensions with an easy bar connection. That's why you should work your chest, guys. I'm going to give you a physique update at the end of this, and I'm going to show you what I'm looking like. Don't skip your chest workout, girls. Get an all-round physique, and you'll be a lot stronger. It's cool to be strong. Anyway, physique update coming up, and thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. So this physique update was taken two days ago. Um, on a Saturday, I'd eaten a lot. Not a lot, actually. I was quite lean. It was after spinning, so I felt quite drained of energy. It was the end of the week. Um, I'm looking good. I'm happy with how I look so far. My diet is on point, and I'm training hard. Uh, no matter what is going on around me, I'm still looking how I want to look. Um, I'm just going to keep driving through radiotherapy, through everything that's going on, and hopefully improve and improve. Thanks, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.